Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level. This is the Applied Practice Paper F. Here we're working on question 1, the statistics definitions question. Please learn all of your definitions before going into your exam. Okay, the first one is explain what is meant by the word population. So a population is a collection of relevant individual people or items. Okay, now we'll go into the context. Joe needs to conduct a survey to investigate the type of kitchen cleaner people prefer. She wants a random sample of people who use kitchen cleaners. She decides to stand in a busy high street on a Saturday afternoon and attempt to get shoppers to answer her questions. State the sampling technique Joe has used. <clears throat> so in this question here, the sampling technique used is of opportunity or convenience. Highlighting, so um, surveying people in the high street is just a matter of uh, catching them at an opportune moment. Okay, part C. Uh, having been unsuccessful in obtaining enough data in her previous attempt, Joe decides to look on the electoral register for a town and selects a sample of 50 households to contact. She decides to select every tenth name on the electoral register <coughs> to add to her sample. Uh, state the sampling technique Joe has used. In this case here it's systematic because it's every tenth person on a list of people out of the whole population or that tries to get as close to it as possible. Give two reasons why Joe may again be unsuccessful in getting the data required using this sampling technique. Well there's a couple of uh, suggestions here. If you're choosing every tenth name then it's not a random sample which would be ideal. Uh, electoral register may have some errors in it. If people don't sign up to the electoral register, then um, then there are going to be some some errors in there, and there may not be enough households to cover um, the fifty um, households that she's going to look to contact. Uh, part E is suggest an alternative method for Joe to use and explain your reasons. Okay, so a random sample, as it avoid, avoids errors. Uh, random sampling from people buying kitchen cleaners in a large store, as this would reduce the potential bias. I suppose you're, yeah, there's, there's always going to be some bias, but you're trying to reduce it as much as possible. Or the, another answer could be quota sampling. Um, no sampling frame required. Uh, continue until all the quotas are filled. For example, the 50 households here. Um, so she just keeps on asking people until she gets her 50, um, 50 pieces of data. Okay, alright, and so there's seven marks for that question. 